and today I am back at Bangkok Drag Avenue for some motorbike racing. We got Honda Monkeys, KR150s, Honda Waves, Giornos, Dios, all sorts of bikes. There's X-Maxes, there's even a guy on a Harley Bagger that's running it down the strip. But this is complete chaos. It's like a traffic jam full of bikes waiting to get into the drag strip, but they're running like five or six wide right now. And it's so loud over here that I'm actually having to hold my mic up to my mouth for once. This is insanity. Man, there's so many bikes. There's only a handful of helmets to be found. I see three guys with helmets on right now. <laughs> and I'm glad I brought my earplugs. Totally insane. This KR150 looks so cool. I uh, like the little Repsol livery on this bike. Uh, here's a little old Honda monkey, like the original style. This guy's got a bicycle helmet on. I mean, that's something. I don't even know what to say. It's just like so much. So they got these guys here controlling the flow somehow, waving people in. had a helmet on. At least I think he did. I don't know, I can't see that far. These guys are hilarious. The ambulance isn't even to the end of the track yet and they, they were starting to do some test starts or some shit. Okay. Ambulance is almost to the end of the track. So time to go. tell is that side is the KR150 side and this is like the Honda Wave and Sonic and Scooter side and look at how much two stroke smoke is in the air there's a couple of bikes over there that are just like smoking like fucking crazy Awesome looking bikes here. 
Like, not only are they fast, but they make them look good. Okay, which pit area? I think I'll go over here, because I just spotted a car that I, I didn't expect to see. And this is it right here, the Lamborghini. It's a really sweet color, too. Didn't ex expect to see this at a bike event. Of course, these guys have KR150s. I really like the colorway on this one. Wow, this one looks really nice, too. I like the blue and gold with the titanium expansion chamber. Oh, they're having Mukata. Man, there are so many cool bikes here. These guys have their own, like, DJ setup. Cut through their pit right here. They have so many KR150s. Check out this little pocket bike. Nice. <laughs> you want me to sit? Oh, key. Oh, okay. Oh, this one. Oh. Actually, it's nice. Oh, sweet. Company car. Oh, those guys are awesome. They let me sit on their KR150. It's pretty sweet. Okay, let's look over here. It's almost like a bike show. Here we have a couple of KR150s. A Honda Beat. I bet you guys didn't know that there's a Honda Beat motorcycle. Everyone knows the K car. But there is a motorcycle that's called the Honda Beat. As you can see right there. I believe it's a 125 or a 110 cc. It's another KR150. Some more KR150s. A whole bunch of Honda Waves. Different generations. Yeah, this looks like a bike show. Oh, this wave has a four valve head on it. Check out the engine on this thing. It's like a billet side case. Or is this a dry clutch? It looks like a dry clutch on it. And then he's got this four valve head. As you can see right here, dual overhead cam. And it's billet case on this side too. That's what I want to do if I get a Honda Wave. That'd be awesome. Kind of surprised there's no like Honda Dash or anything. What are these bikes? I think these are the Giornos. They're supposed to be kind of Vespa style. Here's a Donald Duck Giorno. I don't know why you would buy that. It looks ridiculous. Here's a Yamaha Nuvo. These are kind of weird. They're kind of like a, a Wave, but it's a scooter. And then we got these badass Honda monkeys. Like this one's got the four valve engine. So this is very similar to the engine that's in the Honda Wave. They're all kind of the same engine on these bikes. And they're just either manual clutch or auto clutch. Okay, we're going into the pit that's near the drag strip. I don't know if they'll even be able to hear me over here. So this is more like a racing. Now oh, check out the paint job on this one. This looks rad. Oh, here's a really cool bike. The NSR50 in the Repsol livery. I really like those ones. I want to get one that's uh, the 150. I do find it very interesting that they seem to have adopted the KR150 as the main uh, racing two-stroke bike and not the NSR150 or the, the Yamaha TZR. And I forget what the Suzuki one is, but it's real interesting. Wow, check this out. They have one of these big, what is this? It's a 650 BMW scooter. Wow. I actually haven't seen one of those before. And here's the Honda Nova. I don't know if this is the same as the Dash or if it's a Nova Dash or something, but this is a, a two-stroke underbone bike. I don't see them a whole lot, but I think they're usually pretty popular. a crash all the way down there right after the finish line and I bet they didn't have anything protective on. I guess let's go over there. I can't really tell what's going on. The guy on the Harley bagger has come to the rescue, I guess. I got the guy on the stretcher and into the back of the ambulance. I saw him 
lift his leg up, so he's alive. Hopefully he's not in too bad a shape and he'll be okay. It's just like being at the Asok intersection if you are familiar with that at all. Now look at the stingers on these guys' bikes. I don't know if you'd really want it. outrunning that KR150. So with this racing, I'm not really sure what's going on, but there seems to be some sort of starting and going at the same time as the other guy, but then not fucking it up. I don't know. These guys are like playing chicken with each other. Maybe some kind of drag racing I'm not familiar with. How you transport all these bikes here. You just get a slide truck and you fit, what is this, seven, six on there? You probably fit seven. That was the crazy motorbike racing event that didn't actually have any racing. I thought they were gonna stop doing this and go into classes, but I guess that's not the case for this event. There's no timing or anything. I mean, how could you time this when people are running eight wide sometimes? But overall, it was pretty fun. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.